And as requested, we have pleasure in enclosing price list for specially selected quality imported softwoods. Thanking you for your past business and assuring you of our desire to be of service at all times, we are yours faithfully, etc. That's all, Miss Barlow. Where's lunch for you? Where have you been? You know, for a new job. I, I went to see about it. Come on, you can buy me a pint. No. All you think you have to do is put your hand on my arm and say, come on, you can buy me a pint and I'll come running. No, Preston. Georgie, all day I wanted to explain. What is there to explain? You can't tell her, that's all. You just can't tell her. I tried to tell her, but it just wasn't the right moment. Oh, it's no good, Preston. I don't mean to keep putting it off, but it's got to be the right moment. You think I don't understand? I do. We can't go on like this. Georgie! If only she was different, it would be easy to tell her. But Amy isn't a bad person. In her own way, she tries. She wasn't always like this. When we were first married, she was... Perhaps it's my fault. The thing is, I never noticed she'd changed till I met you. You see the same person every day. You don't see them at all. But women shouldn't be like that. Not bothering once they're married. That's when you should bother most. It's easy to say. I'm sorry for her too, Preston. I am, really. But it's your life I'm thinking of. I look at you now unhappy and worried, and I could weep. Yes, I could weep. I want to give you some happiness, confidence. I want to take care of you. So please, for your own sake, you must break with her. I know you're right, but... Oh, what's the use? I've had the over that job, I'm going to take it. Georgie, you can't leave me, you mustn't. Look, look, I, I promise, I promise I'll tell her tonight. That's what you said last night. Whatever happens, I'll tell her tonight. I promise you, Georgie. Come on. I'll buy you that pint. <laughs> 